Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're well and thank you so much for tuning into this video today. I'm so grateful. And this is just a short spontaneous video that I thought I would do because it would be good to self-reflect on the pandemic so far. I mean, how many of us have really stopped to really think about what's going on and maybe give our thoughts on it, thoughts that we can look on in the future, maybe not just for ourselves, but for future generations, future family members, um, or even those of us now that just want to reflect on what happened going forward i mean there's lots of evidence there's lots of pictures there's lots of stuff on the news but it's always good to get a personal um, perspective of what's going on so as you guys know this is a pandemic that affects every single one of us it doesn't matter if you're rich whether you're poor whether you're, you're american european african asian it doesn't matter where you are in the world this pandemic is going to affect you even if you're in a country where the infection rate is low compared to others if you don't nip it in the bud, if you don't keep it contained, it can get out of hand. We just never know. So economically, it's affected the world massively because a lot of people have had to stop. Um, a lot of businesses are suffering, even things like oil, because people aren't driving so much. People aren't using petrol so much. And it's crazy what's happening. When you really stop and think about it, it's really crazy. Um, and in terms of myself, my personal experience, we can go back about six months. We can go back into 2019, the end of 2019, where I decided to change my lifestyle anyway. So I decided to stop going out so much, stop socializing outside so much and try and save a bit of money. I try to exercise a bit more. Um, so every day on a day off, I'd go out and walk for an hour. If I walk around my block twice, that's an hour's worth of walking. So I was doing that um, at least three or four times a week. And other than that, I would just stay at home. So when the whole stay at home thing, thing came in with the one hour exercise, there wasn't much change for me. Plus I'm still working, so everything was pretty much the same for me. Apart from when you go out there and you've got your social distancing, you've got to be wary of what you do and what you touch. And, and how you speak to people, um, nothing really changed for me. And then back in December 2019, I'm pretty convinced that my colleagues and I may have had the virus anyway because it spread so quickly within our pharmacy this cold or flu thing that we all had and being in a pharmacy you had a lot of customers coming in asking about remedies for persistent coughs and colds they'd had for a number of weeks um, so I personally think this has also been going on for a while but either way we are in the situation we're in now in the UK we've been on lockdown for nine weeks um, and as I say for me um, it nothing too much has changed. What has actually changed for me more is, um, I mean, let me just go back to my relationship as well. I'm in a long distance relationship and we decided this year we were going to see each other as and when we could. Not necessarily every month, but it had to be every couple of months. We'll see each other at the right time for us. So it's now been nine weeks since we've seen each other. Our, our longest duration is 10 weeks, so about to hit that. It's my other half's birthday coming up and it's the first one I'm going to miss. Obviously, that's really sad. But when you know you're in a relationship where the bond is strong and you can live independently of each other but still have each other, you don't have to worry about too much. So even with my relationships, things are still things are still fine. I think what has changed for me, though, is, is when you look outside, you, you can appreciate that everyone's got their own situation. Like Some people are stuck alone. Um, some people have family members who were abroad um, some people have relationships that where they can't go and see that you know everyone's affected in, in, in one way or another and I think what has affected me more than anything is just the fact that I feel that I am in a position to help people because I'm not living with anyone who is um, vulnerable um, I have a bit of freedom that way, um, I'm still working and um, you know my mind is constantly stimulated like I've been learning so much about personality types, I've been learning the guitar, the piano, I've been having a vocal lesson so I'm still carrying on but where a lot of people are alone and uh, are finding this situation new you know you want to help, you want to chat to them, you want to talk and because a lot of people are at home it means there's more people contacting you or there's more people that need your time and obviously when you're working and you've got all that stuff to do your housework it's it's difficult so for me every now and then I can get a bit overwhelmed it just feels like everything's coming at me so sometimes I need to switch off but sometimes I'm talking about work and how much work is stressful or any situation and you stop and think hold on a minute there's people out there who aren't working who want to work so you can't moan too much about work but then at the other hand you're thinking you're entitled to moan a bit because you're going through that so 
for me it's just trying to be considerate of everyone around you you know i've got neighbors and people i know who who may be slightly more vulnerable and you want to be there for them but at the same time you want to be there for yourself so for me it can get a bit overwhelming um but i do believe if we all stick together if we all help each other as and when we can we will get through this um musically it's been it's been a bit more of a wake-up call in a way because i've been doing this music thing for a number of years now um just taking it easy but now I feel more of an obligation to supply music and to supply entertainment, or to, to supply knowledge or anything, just to keep people or you guys um, more engaged because being mentally engaged is so important. I've been through depression twice in my life and it's not nice. And that tends to happen when you lose control, when you feel like you don't have control of where you're at. And I know those of us who can't work or those of us who can to stay at home, you feel like you're losing control of your life and that can lead to depression. So perhaps I'll do another video on depression if you guys want. Just comment and let me know that if you like that and I will do that for you. But what you need to do in this time is just try and get some control back. And that could be simply by getting yourself a diary. I always talk about a diary. Um, challenging yourself to better yourself at something, whether it's exercising or whether it's an instrument, whether it's a language, or whether it's a, to read a book. And even if it has to be, watch five Netflix series in a, in a month or whatever. Have plans and goals and stuff in place so that you can keep your mind engaged. Because if you don't have plans, you're not controlling anything. You just get up and your day is what it is. And before you know it, you start to feel like, oh, what am I doing with my life sort of thing. So it's been, it's been difficult. Um, but I think the beginning was harder. And working in a pharmacy, you saw so many people in the shop just panicking and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm a big believer of don't panic, just stay calm, um, assess the situation, get your, your mind right and then make a decision. So when all the panic buying was going on, I didn't panic buy, I didn't buy any I, toilet roll. You only start to panic when you realise that everyone's buying everything and there's nothing left when you go into the shop. So after a while I bought a few frozen bits and stuff like that. Um, but either way, didn't panic, didn't get involved in all the pushing in, 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 to get into shops and the mad queues. If there was a big queue, I would just walk away. So I learned as well, definitely you've got to try and stay calm in every situation. Perhaps if we'd stayed calmer when things got really crazy, the infection rate wouldn't have spread so much. Because I, I was seeing videos, you can probably see them, of people queuing outside a shop and then all pushing to get in. You know, those stampede situations. That's when the virus spread why do we do that just stay calm um so yeah all in all it's been a very very crazy experience not just for me but for everybody and feel free to drop your um drop some comments and let me know how you found this pandemic um where you think it will go what you've been doing with your time if you're struggling if you're you're getting on with it let me know it's good for us to engage and just see how each other are doing and it's good for me to learn about you guys um so yeah i won't won't carry on much longer get this edited quickly and uploaded straight away and um yeah let me know if you want to hear anything more specific done my housework so now i'm going to go and learn a bit of piano and guitar and try and prepare for my live stream on facebook um and then i will also try and get some more material ready for you guys i've got a week off i hope this week is going to be very productive i hope to get to know you guys a lot more as well so if you can, feel free to like, share and subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on my Facebook, Mezarashi Music, on my Instagram, One Mezarashi, or here on YouTube as well, Mezarashi Music. So um, I look forward to seeing you guys and um, probably try and sort my hair out at some point. Don't know why I was wearing that headscarf, but, um, but yeah, look after yourselves, stay safe, see you soon.